Hello, welcome to today's lesson. We are going to look at number 11. And uh, from 11, we know the divisibility test of 11 says that uh, a number is divisible by 11 if uh, the difference of the sum of alternate uh, digits is 0 or 11 or a multiple of 11 e.g. 22, uh, 33, and so on and so on. We have got the first example there I've helped you. 4,631. The alternate numbers are 4 and 3, and then 6 and 1. When we add 4 and 3 is 7, and when we add 6 and 1 is also 7. The difference between 7 and 7 is 0. That means this number is divisible. The second example I have for you is 50,941. The alternate numbers are 5 and 9 and 1. And then we have got 0 and 4. If we add 0 plus 4 is 4. And then uh, 5 plus 9 plus 1 is 15. When we subtract 15 take away 4, we shall have 11. And also this one is divisible. The third example there is 373,892. The alternate numbers are 7, 8, and 2, 3, and 9. When we add 7, 8, and 2, we shall get 17. And when we add 3 and 9, we shall get 12. The difference between the two numbers is 17 take away 12, we shall have 5. 5 is not divisible. Uh, it means this number is not divisible by 11. Uh, but that's not the end. Uh, we have got multiplication of 11 by two digit number or more. It is fun for everyone and it will be easy for everyone who will be using this method and multiplication of 11 by any number will be easier and everyone will be enjoying mathematics. Um, Look at the first case. We have got 11 multiplied by 43. In my red number there is 7. How did I get the 7? Just simply take 4 plus 3, write the 7, which is the middle number, and then the two numbers that are remaining, write 4, the first one, and 3, the last one, and you are done. Your answer 11 by 43 is 473. Look at the second example. We've got 11 by 89. I've written 7. How did I get 7? I also added 8 plus 9 is 17. So I write 7, carry 1. My 1, I'll add on my 8, then write 9. And the other first number shall remain the way it is, 9. So my answer 11 times 89 is 979. Then the last example, we have 11 by 456. So what I'll simply do, I'll take the first number, I'll write the way it is, 6. The second number, I'll add 6 and 5, I'll get 11, write 1, carry 1. The second number, I'll add 5 plus 4, I'll get 9, plus 1 is 10, I'll write 0, carry 1, and then add on the last number, which is 4, Five and my answer becomes 5016. That's how easy math becomes sometimes when you are just clever. Thank you and let's meet in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.